Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Hope everybody got through the holidays and the new year and the cold blasts that we had there around the holidays. And things are around here anyway, more back to a normal winter time weather. Uh, I don't know, it's about 45 today. But uh, anyway, got a little something different in store today. Got the old Massey out. Hadn't started it up in quite a spell. Uh, was a little worried, but I keep a battery tender on it. And it fired right up, so so no issues. But uh, anyway, I've got a uh, piece of equipment. Uh, I need to make some adjustments on the brakes. So per the owner's manual to do that, you need to lift the back wheels off the ground uh, where you can freely you know, rotate the back tires. And then inside the brake drum housing there, there's a little rotator wheel that you take a screwdriver. You open up a little door and you rotate it. But anyway. That you know, the video is not going to be about adjusting the brakes per se, is as much as as getting it off the ground, lifting it off the ground. You know, typically, you know, I've got a farm jack. You know, I've got some bottled hydraulic jacks. You know, different things. You got to be careful, obviously, when you're jacking these things up, because you know you don't want it to sway one way or the other. A lot, a lot of weight here, so you don't want to get hurt. But I have here uh, what I think is called a Dearborn jack. Uh, I, I'm not positive. If anybody knows any more information about it, uh, please put it in the comments. I, I have seen a couple of YouTube videos um, on on one or two of these. Not too much, but this is something. As long as I can remember growing up on the farm, my dad had. I'm not sure if he bought it. Um, maybe back in the '70s. I'm thinking maybe from one of the local uh, you know ag uh, places around. Uh, they may have even made it there at their welding shop. I'm not sure. But anyway, what it allows is it allows the three-point, well, let me let me backtrack. It allows the two-point, the lifting arms only. We, were, we will not be using the top link uh, in this situation. It'll be uh, just standing or hanging free. But we'll, we'll use the lift arms of the tractor to lift the tractor off the ground. It'll lift the back wheels off the ground. It's very safe, very reliable. Um, like I said, I've used this thing since the 70s multiple times to get the back wheels off of the tractor. They actually made a front frame part for it that you connected the two together kind of with a chain, and it actually would lift the front off as well when, when lifting the back. It kind of moves it forward and lifts it up. You'll see, I'll get some video and we'll get underneath and show, show you how it connects, but it's Pretty cool system. Um, let me show you a close-up of the device itself. <clears throat> so here it is. You can see here are the uh, you know the pins that go on the lift arms. You put your regular pins pins in there. This thing kind of folds down. You can see kind of the U-shaped pieces here. That goes under the back axle of the tractor. So basically, when you lift with the three-point uh, um, lift lever, when you lift the lift arms, uh, it basically pivots the axle up on top of these, and uh, you'll see you'll see how it works. We'll we'll get under there and uh, get it hooked up and show you what it's all about. Okay, As you can see there. I got a couple of boards under there. That'll give me a little more height. And this ground is kind of soft. We've had a lot of rain lately, so hopefully it won't let this thing dig down into the ground too much. Okay. Get our lift pins in. Okay, so I don't know how well you can see that. Bar straight across, and it goes back to the arms, and then the little U shaped pieces. And I'll actually um, reposition that once I start lifting on it. They go right under the axle, just like that. All right, let's see how, how this does when we start her up.
actually see this wheel, the brake is a little too tight. That wheel is completely off the ground, but and I can hear the brake scrubbing a little bit, so that needs to be loosened up a little. See where the other one turns really free. There we go. Some might say, well, that thing's a bit dangerous. Well, yeah, it definitely anything you do around farm machinery and lifting a heavy piece of equipment off the ground can be dangerous, but you know, it's not like I'm going to get up under underneath it. Uh, but like I said, I've used this thing for 30, 40 years now or more. It's always worked well. And I don't think you could do a tractor much bigger, number one, because of the weight and the height of the tires, you know. Uh, even actually without those two by fours under there, that uh, that bar would be low enough that it wouldn't get the clearance to get those tires off the ground. So, and just to show you what the size of those tires are, let's see, maybe this one's better. 13.6 by 28. So, uh, but yeah, now of course if you let it sit there long enough with it, uh, you know, all the hydraulics are going to leak down. But anyway, I'm just going to adjust the brakes. So, hope you enjoy that. That's just a little, little something different. That uh, it's just, I think it's just a really cool gadget. I'm not even sure if you can buy anything like that nowadays. I want to say somewhere I found some drawings or something on a forum. I can't remember. If I can find it, I'll, I'll put it in the, uh, in the description, a link to it. Uh, you could actually make it, you know, if you were, had some pipe, and, you know, pretty pretty good with a welder. But uh, for I haven't tried it on the Coyote, but I have no reason to, to think that it wouldn't work. Um, you know, as long as the width, it's not a problem as far as those uh, pieces, you know, fitting under the axles. We always used it on the smaller masses like this back in the day. But uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Just a cool little gadget. I thought it was worth worth showing. Um, you know, if you like these kind of videos, trying to build up some numbers, so please hit the like button and hit the subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.